The people had read of this rescue that was coming through the bloodline of Abraham. And they had seen where Micah proclaimed about a ruler to be born in Bethlehem. Daniel prophesied about the restoration of Jerusalem. Isaiah's cry about the Son of God coming to them. So for them, it was anticipation. This groaning was growing generation after generation. Knowing he was holy no matter what the situation. But they longed for him. They yearned for him. They waited for him on the edge of their seats, on the edge of where excitement and containment meet. They waited like a child watches out the window for their father to return from work. They waited like a groom stares at the double doors at the back of the church. They waited and in their waiting they had hope, hope that was fully pledged to a God they had not seen, to a God who had promised a king, a king. centuries of expectations with various combinations of differing schools of thought. Some people expecting a political king who would rise to the throne through the wars that he fought, while others expecting a priest who would restore peace through the penetration of the Pharisees' facade. Yet, a baby, 100% human, 100% God. And so, the word became flesh and was here to dwell among us.
Emmanuel, God with us.